Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the internet and or YouTube and or wherever you may come from the internet. Wherever that is. You might be hearing some noise on my line right now like this. And this. And this. That's because I'm using a R3, R3 synthesizer keyboard to actually record my voice right now. And the reason is because I spent the last... Uh, Probably two and a half, oh no, oh my god, uh, five to seven years? Has it really been that long? Five to seven years getting to know this, this synthesizer and understanding exactly how it works. And getting to know how to really, I'm stroking it right now, the keyboard that is, to really get to know how it works. One thing I, I remember was back in, oh god, it was like 2005, Image and Heap released a song called, oh, right, that eludes me right now, but I don't remember what it was called, uh, whatever, was it Imagine, either which way, uh, Hold on, I'm trying to remember. I'm holding you up, and that... Ugh, I hate when I do that. Anyway, I'm just going on. I can't remember. Sorry. So, basically, Imogen Heap used a vocoder just straight up, like I have here, to sing. And she used a few functions that I have figured out here. And I'm gonna, you know, give it a shot. Oh, God, I know. You're just sitting in your seat right now, just... Shake it in your boots, just going, oh god, he's gonna fucking sing. But that's okay, because I'm not actually gonna sing words, because I don't actually have any words that I want to sing right now. My other microphone just fell over. But I really will just be doing the oohs and the ahs, so, you know, you can save yourself. And if you're afraid already, I am not tone deaf, at least I don't think I am. If I am, let me know, because God, that would change my entire life. So let's get on with it. It's been 2 minutes 30 seconds, so let's get on with it. Now, the instrument I'm using to patch through my voice, the image in heap one was this. And I'll sh Hello? Okay. And I'll show you. This was the, uh the voice that was used over the vocoder. So it would be... You know, whatever. You know, that actually sounded pretty close, which I'm pretty surprised about. I didn't even try. But I'm going to be using a different one. I developed this instrument myself to uh, fuck around with the uh, Commodore 64 kind of sound. So this is the tone I'm using. And you're going to hear it being played, which is, uh, let me try. That. It's a Commodore 64-like sound. The Commodore 64 obviously had different actual levels on its waveform that I, my thing smoothly goes over and if you know anything about synthesis, synthesis and how sound cards work you probably are going yeah thank you for mentioning that but what happens when we use it as a carrier wave something kind of like this hello Hello, 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 hello. So, I'm going to sing along with it. And I've wasted about 4 minutes, 30 seconds of your time right now. So, let's... Let's just play something. I mean, let's fuck around. I mean... <clears throat> clearing my throat. <laughs> Oh. 
you go. I mean, uh, I'm I'm just spouting that out there, and I mean, not you know. But I hope you know one that it was volumely right because I had to record this twice. So, and I kind of hope you enjoyed it. So if you did, let me know because there's a lot of other stuff that I can do with this thing. <laughs> So, I would actually like to, if you're interested in the R3, and you want more videos about the R3 keyboard and what it can do, I would be perfectly willing to do that, because I know all kinds of things about this little machine, and I love her so much. She is my little baby, and I will hold her into the night in my bed, like most musicians do to their favorite instrument. No, they don't. They don't. But... That's enough for that for now, and I hope you enjoyed the picture you had to watch for the, all this time. Sorry I couldn't do anything else, but I mean, I, I had to do what I had to do. I mean, I was a little bit too busy messing around. All right, I'm just, let's just cut it off there. So, good night, everyone, and I hope you enjoyed it.